Um, so if you want to sit on the floor or get a chair or anything like that and have a personal bubble sort of thing, so protect Oliver. And when dogs approach, make sure that he's comfortable. If he's trying to hide, just yeah, make him feel safe. Keep a distance. And Rub his chest. Keep him calm. And talk do to him. Doodle's family. Oh, yeah. Doodle's family oh. can pat Doodle while he's looking at the little guy and prevent him from jumping on the little guy's head. And you can put. You can put a, a finger in the collar like Duke, or you, if mm -hmm. when Duke is more mature and knows the lie down command, you can you can have um, Duke lie down when there's tiny dogs nearby. Mm -hmm. If he knows it. Right now, if he doesn't know it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So try not to keep him still, except when he's right near a tiny okay. dog. And that would be um, him learning to be calm mm -hmm. and not leaping and on the head. Yeah, because that's their normal reaction. It's like, oh, I want to play. I want to play. Flop, flop. Yeah. And that helps the little guy realize that big dogs can be calm near them and um, sort of sets the tone for the situation. Yeah. Rather than having to see big dogs like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. When he's being calm and confident, always praise him for that. Good job. Good job. Oh, boy, okay, you guys. So, yeah, you, you pat this guy. You don't want to call him too much. Him. Don't hold him tight. Yeah. Just pat the guy nearby and let him move around or whatever you'd like, just let him move around and you pat him. Hey, good boy. And then, good boy. then uh, he, Oliver will learn to oh, um, see that you're liking the other guy. And now it, it's the moment has passed and you can just let him be free. Mm. Boy, Oliver. Yeah, he can just be down the way. Oliver can move around. Good, yep, that's five seconds. Good boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you.